All right, guys, we're back at it again. So before, I've been thinking about this, before I go and start swapping motors out and buying more powerful motors and whatnot, I might just try and make this thing a bit more efficient. So one of the things I can try is uh, I might try and put a spigot inside here, reduce this nozzle size. And another thing I can do is uh, make it a two-stage, put another stage in the uh, impeller. So I'll just take this off again. So what are we going to do, Daniel? We're going to find a pipe that's not loose. Let's kick those endorphins and do some running, eh? <laughs> oh, this is slightly bigger. Oh, no. no, it's the same, isn't it? What about if we push that one over top of this one? Will that work? What do you mean? Push that over this. What is it achieving, though? Yeah, but then I've got double. <laughs> oh, oh! Yeah, get it out of our way. <laughs> So All we right. put a little bit of a lathe prep on this one and then push this one onto it. Yeah, we'll shorten them up. But I'll make it shorter so it's got more charge. Yeah. Headphone users beware. We don't have to machine a prep, we'll just limit a prep. We're going to try and press these pipes on top of each other to get more outside diameter. Yes. Okay, I've got that spigot in, these uh, steering bolts, just uh, hold it in, so I can take that in and out and test which is better. Well, that was a little bit inconclusive actually. It made a little bit more water spray, but less volume of water. But it's hard to know without driving along at speed. The water's not getting forced into the intake. So if in doubt, just go double the power. So I've got this uh, 13 horsepower motor here, which I've drilled the main jet out and uh, run a more straight through exhaust. So that's probably making more like 15 horsepower. You see the size difference there. And what I'm going to do is gear it up 2.4 to 1 chain and sprocket. So this does about 3,500 revs this motor. And I'll be gearing up the jet unit to about 8,500 revs. So let's get that done. Big block sitting in there now. Sort of the sprocket out at work. Bored the hole out to an inch, broached the keyway, and I shaved a bit of weight off it and then tapped the hole for a grub screw. So this should fit on here now. That's tight, I've got to deburr it first. Well, the sprockets are made and on there. It's going to work good, but look at this. How much this. The whole boat is twisting, so I'm going to have to make some sort of brace up to strengthen it. All right, we're almost ready to test again. I've put another brace in here, but it's stainless steel, so that's tightened it all up. Pressed the chain up, got the exhaust pipe mounted, ready to start up. Let's see if she starts. <laughs> All 
right. I don't know why the chain's so loud. Uh, hopefully it's not so loud in the water. I can make a guard for it or something. I also changed these wheels to make it a bit easier. They just slide out the bottom. I can just throw them in the boat. Let's try it in the water, eh? Me and my daughter are down the river now. Um, lucky uh, old workmate let me through the gate. He watches the videos as well, so that's handy so we can get close to the river. Let's get down there. Looks like we're not even on the plane with 13 horsepower, which is very disappointing. The motor's struggling though, isn't it? Yeah. You can hear it's like not. It's got enough power. Uh, we'll turn around and go down river. We'll go for a bit of an adventure, eh? Oh, yeah. Think? oh no, yeah, the grill's totally blocked. The block? That was in the grill. Where it sucks the water. now dad's loading up the boat and i'm soaked well what happened didn't work out so good did it i'm surprised with this big motor geared up that it didn't just i thought it was going to go real fast i think what it, the problem was is the motor's that heavy it's sinking the boat down and i could change the gearing again and get it to go better but I think it's only ever going to go about as fast as the two-stroke motor had it going because this whole jet unit I think is too small so even changing the nozzles and stuff didn't help that much so I'm a bit put off of what to do next I have got something I would like to do what I could do is remove this jet unit out of here move the big motor right to the back there and then have this here see it's got a CV on the end and then mount a prop on the end of it so then I've got a surface drive so it can swivel and steer and change the pitch. So surface drives are the fastest thing in the water. So perhaps I should try that instead of a jet unit. Also the weeds clogging up. Even if I made it really work really well, I've still got the issue of the weeds getting stuck under the grill. Well thanks for watching. Uh, leave a comment. I pretty much answer all the comments. Thanks to my daughter for filming in the rain and the cold. It's winter now. So see you all next time.